Hi folks, uh, it is Thursday July 19th. I'm just here in the studio, I'm in the process of packing my kiln and I've got actually some bottles there to these are bottles that are waiting for um, some decoration, some iron oxide decoration. And these have been glazed over a white slip. You can sort of see the white slip underneath the glaze there, sort of showing through. Um, with a clear glaze over the top of the uh, over the top of the white slip hackamy. So the yeah these are these are raw. Um, what I'm doing right now though, I just thought I'd bring you in on it very quickly. Uh, yeah, I've just sprayed that that pot there uh, with wood ash. It has a corn cob, a corn cob impressed design. That's just the the corn the corn cob pressed into the into the into the soft clay that is raw as well and this little teapot here I'm working on right now let's put the camera on the tripod I'm just in the process of doing uh, some fluting so let's just do that won't make it a long drawn out affair but I just as I was doing it anyway I suddenly thought this would actually be so this is a little side handled uh, teapot I showed you at the end of the last clip. So I'm using my broken off hacksaw blade and um, I'm carving, carving the outside here. I mean, fluting is really just, it's just carving. But usually, it's a usually a, 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 this kind of carving, if you see what I mean. Pretty warm day today. Yeah, I've got a workshop this weekend. Got four people coming. We had a cancellation. If anybody wants to come, last minute, I know. Let's bring that camera down. I'll see if I can bring it in a bit. It's difficult to judge exactly. I hope that will, if I can sort of situate myself directly in the line of that seat. Yeah, the trick with with uh, fluting, as I told you before, is keeping it going straight. You know, with this particular clay body, which does have grog in it, sometimes when you're carving with the tool you hit a piece of grog and then it drags the piece of grog all the way down the length of the flute which I don't particularly care for if I'm honest so 
So when you're fluting, you want to keep your, your elbow tucked into your side. And I'm using a hacksaw blade, using the rounded end where it would join on to the one end of the, the hacksaw. I'm trying to do this so you can see what I'm doing. Well, that's very good of you, Simon, to let us see. <laughs> well, what you want to do here along the top edge, you see, keep a steady, keep a steady line going all the way from the top. Now, the bottom, you'll notice along the bottom here, they don't all end abruptly exactly at the same place. It doesn't matter but it does matter that they start at the same place, okay? That is important. Yeah, so the end of the hacksaw blade here, I've ground it off on my uh, bench grinder here to like a 60 degree angle on one side. I hope we're in the picture. Hang on, let me just see if I put that there. Dee, 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 dee. Yeah, hope so. So you can see I've gone all the way round, and I've had to negotiate. I've had to negotiate here around a spout, around a handle, and I'm now coming around to. to the, to meet up, you know. Trying to get my head out of the way because it's casting a shadow. And I've got the handle here in my way now, which is all to, it, it is, makes it a little bit more difficult. <sighs> you need a steady hand, but a decisive hand when you're doing this. You don't want to start a cut and hesitate. Nothing worse than hesitating. I think my hat is casting a shadow. Yeah, it's quite tricky doing that because that this guy is right in the way of my my hand. Let me see if you can see that. You see, so we're 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 counting down to the end now. Dee dee dee. Carving the clay. Come on. Ah. That is really awkward there. That's an awkward number. I can't get the, f the flow, you see, because of this guy. Is, is all... Alright, 
Now I've got these little ones here on the top to do. Like that. Now finish up underneath here. One of the nice things about fluting is you may experience this but when you do it it's a very forgiving technique and you find at the end while each flute is not perfect in itself but when you get to the end and you look at the Ah, you look at the, you know, you look at, you look at, let's pull back the camera a second. Otherwise I'll be all, hang on. Yeah, when you look at the, of what you've, let me put the lid on the teapot. All right, let's see if I can show you that. Yeah. So you see the importance of keeping the top edge, keeping the top edge the same. The bottom edge, as I said, it doesn't, it doesn't matter so much, but the top edge, you've got some of my f fingernail marks there, you see? That does happen, you watch your fingernails. But keep the top edge the same and you get quite a neat, quite a neat looking uh, carving, you know. And one of the nice things about fluting is that the, the longitudinal's vertical lines, they, they fit the form usually very well. It's very pleasing to the eye, you see. I think you'll agree that that's, that's, that is pleasing to the eye. And, and, but it's not just pleasing to the eye, it's actually, it's very nice to, to pour, you see. It's well balanced because it's, it's right in the middle, right in, the handle is right in the middle of the teapot. It's not as good as a, a cane handle which goes over the top because that your hat then it is suspended underneath and that's actually better but this is actually very good it's better than having a handle off the side here this is I think they're nice to look at as well okay folks just thought I'd show you that I hope that was instructive uh, for you and helpful and inspirational uh, so have a go at doing some fluting. It doesn't have to be on a teapot. Teapot is a little bit more complicated to flute as you appreciate but do have a go just on a straight cylinder. That's a good place to start. You're fluting. Throw some cylinders, let them get leather hard, not too soft and take a take a one of these guys and and carve away. You can use both ends actually, you can use the flat end as well and you can use the flat end by digging in, by digging in one of the corners of the flat end, you see, like that. My father used to use the flat end. I've always got on better using the, uh, the rounded end. Okay. Um, keep practicing, keep practicing, go to my website, 
If you want to come here for a workshop, then um, then ring me up or write to me. Uh, we've got workshops ongoing through next month and September and October. Okay? Keep practicing and I'll see you around. Dee, 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 dee. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye.